Well, welcome. Um, I felt this year I had a little bit of a greater opportunity than I had had before when it came to looking at my clientele during my first period class. And so I had started thinking of ways that I could encourage my students to want to write. And as many of you guys know, sometimes that can be really hard. So what I came up with um, was, I called it visual comprehension, because I really want to build literacy skills, not just writing, but I want to make sure that my kids can talk to people. We've been very blessed in Floyd County that we have a um, one-to-one -one program. Next year, it'll be fully implemented, five, uh, grade five through 12. But I wanted my students to know that just sitting at a computer doesn't mean that they're going to be successful. And that when they get out of high school, their ability to, co to communicate with people is going to be key. So this project that we have um, created is going to last, um, the majority of it is going to be this semester. And they've actually already got started on it. And what they're going to do is, and you can, somewhere I have the title, Portrait of a Rebel. This is Allen Central High School's last year. When the doors close um, in May, that will be it for Allen Central and we'll be consolidating with South Floyd High School. And so Allen Central has a rich history. And what better way to get my students interested in literacy than to create a program that's going to make them research the history of Allen Central. So what they have to do, they're, um, I have a timeline up here and they had to submit an action plan. They actually had to sit down, plan it, what are their questions? And before that even happened though, we sat down and we brainstormed who are some people we would like to interview. Because what we're going to do is by April, we will have created a video uh, tribute to the history of Allen Central High School. Uh, it's something that we hope that we'll be able to share uh, through YouTube, through other social media outlets, um, to celebrate the history. But in doing that, it has gotten my kids really excited, um, which is encouraging to me, especially, like I said, with my clientele, because I have a lot of opportunities this year. So... Um, once they sat down and they decided who they wanted to interview, then we looked at what are some questions? What are some questions that would guide an interview? Because you don't want to ask yes or no, and uh, yes or no questions. So they sat down, they made an action plan. We looked at their questions. They talked to each other about their questions. Um, and that was really good because kids can be brutally honest and that's a terrible question, I heard some of them say. And so they have worked on that. And so now next Friday, they will have um, performed their interviews. And part of the grant money that I have spent, uh, we already had a really good camera at our school, but we did not have a microphone. And so um, I purchased a microphone um, that was adaptable to our camera. And so they're going to be able to use that. But they're also going to be able to use their cell phones, uh, their cameras at home. And they are going out and they are interviewing. But they are also Skyping because some of the people that they want to interview are no longer around here. Uh, one of our celebrated basketball coaches, he now lives in t uh, Oklahoma, so they're going to Skype with him. Um, yesterday, one of our girls basketball players, um, she invited, they actually came back, three of the players who went to, I think, the um, regional championship game maybe five or six years ago. And so she got to interview them and she was really excited about it. So the kids are taking ownership. And that is what is really important to me, that they actually care about it. Um, while many of them are focusing on um, some of the sports teams that we've had success with, some are uh, interviewing older principals, they're interviewing um, teachers we've had in the past, and one of my favorite stories so far has been a young man who said, Miss Sloan, can I, can I interview my dad? I was like, well, sure. What do, you, what do you want to talk to your dad about? What's he going to share? And he said, well, I think he stayed in trouble a lot while he was here. So I think he's got some pretty funny stories to tell. So I thought, great, let's do that. No problem. So um, we also have some... Um, I purchased uh, some lights and some backdrops so that we could try to emulate a more professional looking um, interview. Uh, and so that's been really exciting. And what we're gonna do, um, 
once they have their interviews, they're going to sit down, they're going to play them back, they're going to look at them, um, but they're also, they're going to make a script from their interview so that they're going to be able to look at how do I use quote, uh, quotations in an essay, in an article, and the really exciting part for me, more so than them doing the interviews, is that they are going to be taking the information they have uh, gathered from the interview, and they are going to be creating an online publication. They're hopefully going to be using Publisher um, if they're more comfortable with other types of um, software, they can do that as well. But we are going to collaborate to make an entire book of memories of Allen Central High School. Um, some of them have already asked me, can they do two? Can they do three? And so I'm pretty excited about that as well. Um, the whole pro uh, project should be over by Christmas. Of course, it's going to take a little bit longer to fix that video. <laughs> That's going to take a little while. Um, but I have an amazing STLP, and they actually just found out they reached gold status in the state of Kentucky, so we're really proud of them for that. And so uh, some of them have said, Miss Sloan, I'll come on board. I will help you as we edit and we look at what really works. Um, and something I told the kids, I said, you know, some of the videos may not make it to the final cut, and that's okay, because it's about you learning how to speak to somebody, how to listen to what they say, how to listen to what they say to let God your questions, um, and then seeing this whole, this whole big process come to this wonderful, hopefully, uh, product at the end. And it's something that they're going to get to hold on to. Um, it's something that, you know, when we look back, a lot of our kids who walk our halls right now, their parents walked our halls. Their grandparents, uh, in some cases, uh, walked our halls. Um, so there's a lot of rich heritage there. And I know this is a project that they will hold dear to their hearts for a very long time. And I'm just excited that uh, we have um, the funds that we can do a little extra with it. Uh, you'll see I have the Photoshop, it's not just Photoshop, it is the Adobe Cloud. And it is awesome. And it has all kinds of um, video editing software. It has uh, photography video, uh, photography software. Um, so they're going to get to use that. So our kids are going to get to use that as well. So it's really exciting. Um, do you guys have any questions for me? Okay, thanks. As I, as I uh, got ready for today, I kept thinking of which direction I wanted to go to, and I realized I probably did not hit all the ones I wanted to. But literacy was the main thing, because I don't want our kids to leave our building without having realized that I can't just look at a computer screen and be successful, although it's a great tool, and I fully support it, but we have to learn to communicate. So.